Good evening, friends, and welcome to our second of five MUEC Jazz Day 2021 conferences. Thank you very much for joining us tonight. I'll just briefly introduce our artists and presenters so you can discover them as soon as possible yourselves. So, on this day, the 9th of April, I'm very honored once again to introduce remarkable people. The first thing you'll see is an original song sung and played by Caramba Diobate and Pichmi, also known as Michel Pichon, and it was filmed by Sarah Pichon. Mr. Diobate comes from Guinea, and he's one in a long line of griot storytellers who have passed down ancestral wisdom from the ancient Mandingo civilization. I learned from Pichmi that they had already created a sort of human rights declaration in the 13th century, recognized by UNESCO a few years ago. It is called the Charter of Mande. What a wonderful history that the world can find inspiration in. The final presentation of the evening is by Martin Levy Guggenheim, who has so many titles I could not say them all here. Just suffice it to say that in her 50 to 60 year long career with the International Girl Scouts and Guides Movement, she has already worked closely with UNESCO and the United Nations High Commissariat for Human Rights, the UNHCR, including overall responsibility for the NGO Liaison Committee at UNESCO. So, as Martine speaks this evening, rest assured her perspective is coming from long experience. So we can be encouraged by her realistic optimism that humanity is moving, even if slowly, in the right direction toward peace cultures. Her historical overview starts at the end of the 19th century, when the international community began to consider concerted efforts to avoid war. As she explains, these efforts have slowly evolved away from simply trying to avoid war towards a more sustainable, holistic approach of creating the kind of cultures and societies which would nourish peace. The Declaration of Seville in Spain is noteworthy in this regard where it was declared that war is not something inherently in our genes or inevitable, but that war is a social construct, and therefore that it is also possible to build peace, since it is we ourselves who build the structure for armed conflict. Other key locations for notable efforts that she mentions were the Ivory Coast, where two important events for building peace cultures were held. There were also peace treaties, such as in Versailles, but even more importantly, the 1948 groundbreaking accomplishment of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights in Paris, among others. She will speak in French, but for our English-speaking friends, we have provided you in the posts just after her video with a translation in English, as well as the full transcript of the original French, both 